the beginning with the patients to come up collaboratively with treatment goals. I talk with the teens about therapy and medicine and really want them to buy into treatment because if they don't want to participate in it, then there's no point going forth with that. So I really want them to agree that this is what we need to work on. I work also with therapists together with the patients and families to provide care. And if the parents themselves are going through a hard time, I might meet with them separately just to discuss and support them. I take a lot of pride in the accomplishments and victories of my patients. When a patient is able to use a skill that we practice in session out in the real world, that's a huge accomplishment. When another patient was able to meet a milestone, such as graduating from college despite having several episodes of depression, it was just a wonderful victory for all of us. And I really take pride in helping patients and families remain on the trajectory of the life course that they set out for themselves. I think it's important to remain open-minded and to view situations from patients and families' point of view and not impose your views onto them. I think it's important to remain humble and seek advice from colleagues if you have complicated cases. And I think it's really important to remember that you can involve the family while also respecting the autonomy and independence of your patient.